We have a uh, question from Kathy from Miami. And here's a question. What about those people who believed and professed their faith, walked the life in Jesus, and after some years something happened, and now they are distanced from God and say that they no longer believe? Does this mean that they are now blasphemous or condemned? What happens to the original profession of faith? Is it no? Not a bad question. And the answer to that is no. Their faith is not null. The Bible says if we believe not, he abides faithfully because he cannot deny himself. This goes to the heart of what we call uh, eternal security. Can a person be saved and then lost? The answer to that is no, they can't. Now there's many people, mind you, who make professions of faith that were never really saved in the first place. Let me give an example. Judas Iscariot. He professed to be a believer. He preached the gospel. He even performed miracles. Yet Jesus called him a son of Satan, and he called him a unbeliever. That's John, the, uh, the fifth chapter. So, Judas was not a true believer. He was only a professing believer. Now, if a person comes to Jesus, trusts him, born into God's family, can they lose their salvation? Answer, no. Verses, listen to the Gospel of John. Jesus said, all that come to me, I will not cast out. He that cometh unto me, I will in no wise cast out. I give them everlasting life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father who gave them to me is greater than all. I can give you many, many verses on eternal security. God deals with us as children after we believe. Now, if we sin against him and pull away from him after we believe, God will chase after us, bring us back to himself through discipline. Whom the Lord loves, he chastens, but he does not cast out. God does not put us on probation. John 3, 16 says, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, if you could lose your eternal life, he could not say has everlasting life. He'd have to say has eternal life, depending upon if he's good or he's bad. No. Salvation is by the grace of God, solely by the grace of God. Titus 3, 5, not by works of righteousness we have done, but according to his mercy, he has saved us. What's a person need to do that feels very distant from God? They need to confess their sins. The Bible says, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. That's the solution. Get back in fellowship with God. You've lost your fellowship. You've not lost your relationship. Big difference between the two. And I hope that answers your question. And I want to thank you for, for asking it.